Nuggets and the Clippers with Brian Seaman and Jim Jackson on the call. We'll talk to you at the half. Outrageously good. Ball is up. Game is on the Clippers when it's happened. They'll have it to start the fourth and final quarter as well. Caldwell Pope lobs it in low left to Jokic. Now Murray sheds his defender on the flyby, pulls the trigger on the three. Now we are used to seeing that from Jamal Murray. Just shooting the basketball with consistency. Zoo comes up short. Nuggets out in front, finds the two. Murray inside and lays it in. He has struggled around the rim this year with 30 and 28 points in a couple of games respectively, including a game-winning three. Yep. Footwork there by Zoo, but misses over the top of Murray, and Jokic has the rebound. Yeah. At 13.7 assists in 36 minutes in a game where they trailed by as many as 24. He was only a minus five as Caldwell Pope misses Jokic and slicing between a couple of would-be defenders. He has the last five for the Clippers. Jokic the other way off the window. Three for three from the field. Clippers five of eight overall. Gordon posting on coffee, twisting into a double team. It's leaving Jokic open and the two-time MVP floats at home. Game for Sacramento, but yes, you are correct. As the Clippers cut the lead down to three, Jokic hasn't taken a no. ton of threes this year. In fact, has cut them. That's an example of playing with pace right there by the Clippers. It is pushing it up quick, and then now Terrence Mann able to exploit that to get inside. And speaking of which, an empty corner for Jokic. Terrific in the last eight ball games after a slow start. He's averaging 18 points in those games coming off the bench. Murray knocks down the mid-range. And he puts the Nuggets out in front. You, their offensive efficiency in the opening frame has a lot to do with that guy. And a rare blunder from Nikola Jokic, and it's just the first turnover for Denver. Yeah, rarely do you see Nikola Jokic get in the air. John Wall relocated right into the vision of man to be able to receive that pass. And, you know, go back to Jokic. Last year, I think his numbers were scoring-wise up because he had to score. In the Gorman. Awkward little floater and the rebound is corralled by the Clippers inside. Just down by eight despite the 16 points off of turnovers and now the Nuggets have a chance. The Nuggets now have a renewed attack. Jokic forcing the issue, a whistle and a travel and a turnover. The ball goes back to the Clippers. Reminding us of who he has been for the Clippers the last couple of years. Jokic. Oh. Ladles it around into Gordon. What a player, Jokic. Gordon with a nice finish. The lead swells back to eight. Murray in his last nine games, averaging 18 points. A deep little. And Jokic comes away with a rebound. Sends it ahead to Brown. Back to Jokic. Pretends to shoot the three. An awkward shot for many. Murray, the floater, short. Jokic, he's just so great. Not good. Great. Who kind of reached in. And once you miss, that gives the angle to Jokic. And that time he used his body. The threes. The were, threes. Yeah, yes. Come on. The threes are. Here it is in no particular order. Ones, threes, fours, eleven. Okay. There you go. Jokic. <laughs> <laughs> I had to sell a kidney for them. I hope I don't need the other one. Right. <laughs> Nine turnovers leading to 16 nugget points have created the separation. Jokic, no zoo with the. Nuggets, by the way, four turnovers and just six Clipper points. Murray, Jokic, the flush. Well, I mean, in that time, with 15 points off the bench in 12 minutes. Nuggets can go two for one here. They'll have the ball to start the third quarter as well. The footwork by Murray, the touch by Jokic. 64-52. Two-for-one opportunity for the Clippers. They can run their offense here. A reluctant three-point shooter this year. Jokic drives inside. No, rebound batted up, but not in. So the Clippers hold serve, but shooting 62% from the field. Ball fake and walled off. Sends it back up top to Coffee. A bit of an errant pass under duress. Finds Jackson. The catch and shoot three. And Jokic reels in the loop. You usually get a sense and feel of what the team is going to be like. We have yet to feel that yet because we haven't had a complete lineup. By the way, Jokic hasn't missed a free throw all night long. Nope. Way to go, partner. Look, it's still shooting 53%. Very good, but it pales in comparison to the Clippers' 62%. Look at that. The Mega Millions number from me, partner. Clippers have never lost a game when they shoot 60%. Let's see if they can keep it up. They got 18 minutes to go.
altitude of Denver, it is impressive, and they might make a run, especially now that they are relatively healthy. Batum is straight away three, and Jokic leaping for the orchestrating the offense. They lob it back to Morris. Murray not giving an inch. Yeah, I kid. Yo, I, I was, what I was trying to do was in, indicate that I felt that he plays the game. He can do this for the next 15 years and not miss a beat. And the league will be better for it. Now, and it happened to be the last time he ever played for the Rockets. He's been sensational tonight. Powell inside. Finds an open Morris for the catch and shoot three. Clippers now over 20% of the points for Denver tonight have come off of Clipper miscues. Here's another opportunity. Murray out to the races. He's going to add to the ledger. Timeout, Clippers. See who separates from who. Nice pocket pass from Jackson to Zoo. He finds Powell in the corner to three. Halfway down. 25, 105, 88. Nuggets shout in front. Coffee out the window. With a rebound. Has more wear and tear on that body, which requires a longer length of time to heal. So we got to take that into consideration too, young man. Clippers will get ready for Indiana on Sunday afternoon, which will not be an easy game for the Clippers and Ty Lue. As the Clippers hoping health returns sooner than later.